and the balance is the number that you will see appear on the screen. Yesterday, incredibly, we had a draw in the female yes, ranks. It's, it's, very, it's very complicated to have and it's very unusual also to have, but we had. So this is the first athlete to perform the kata. Park Hee Jun of the People's Republic of Korea. Now they uh, have to perform a different kata in each of these rounds, but they can repeat the kata that they may have used in the eliminations because this is treated, isn't it, Davide, as a completely new competition? Yes, usually during our competition, yes, it cannot repeat the same kata uh, made in, in the eliminatories, but now this is a new tournament, new athletes, new same athletes, new tournament, new round robin, and uh, we will get a lot of, of uh, big surprise also. And this is the second of the athletes who will be competing in this first bout. This is Huang Yita of Taipei. The choice of kata is being kept a very closely guarded secret because in the round robin, tactical uh, positioning of kata and choice of kata is very important, isn't it, Davide? Yes, yes. To choose the best kata with the, be with the, with the, the, the opponent is the most important thing. Sometimes, uh, if you know, if you understand that your opponent is stronger than you, you should not use your best kata to try to beat him. So sometimes it's also this that the athletes think. I am not gonna use my best kata with this because I'm not going to win with this kata. I will use with my best with the next one. So the kata that's been chosen from Park Hee-chun is Anand Dai from the Shitarostu style. And just to let you know that we already have had five athletes com have qualified for the Olympics and they are the those that are at the top standing in the Olympic standings. That's Matteo Bissato from Italy. Yes. Congratulations, Davide. Thank you. Antonio Diaz from Venezuela. Rio Kuna from the host nation, Japan. Damien Quintero from Spain. And Ali Safologlu of Turkey. These athletes now will be hoping to join those amazing talent that we'll be seeing in Tokyo just 50 days from now. Yes, 50 days and we are in Tokyo. What I can see also from the Arab and that we have uh, the, the Asian continent with three people and uh, one uh, from the US, so American continent. Twice, Eugene Park has been a continental bronze medalist. There are two aspects of consideration the technical performance and the athletic performance and just to give you an idea for those that are not familiar with karate perhaps technical performance involves the stances the techniques transitional movements the timing which is vitally important of course the focus the kime the conformance to the style the ruha and this is very much a technical discipline the athletic performance is the strength, the speed, and the balance in the athletes. Well, that is the first kata. Each, as I say, will perform three katas. And it's really important for them to start to get wins on the scoreboard as soon as they possibly can. Because if they get a win in the first round, it sets them up quite nicely. They get two points for a win, nothing if they lose.
There's no possibility for a draw in round robin Qatar. Yes, no possibility to draw. Now we see all the tens of the athletes. Look, and we are in the Coubertin in Paris. That is, uh, I think, uh, after the Nippon Budokan of Tokyo, I think the best uh, second uh, um, venue for a karate competition. And what a f an amazing venue it actually is. Uh, there are no members of the audience because of the COVID-19 pandemic, which is a great shame, but it's necessary to make sure that these athletes are kept absolutely safe. And the French Karate Federation has put a fantastic job together to make sure that this tournament complies with the WKF COVID uh, controls. Yes, COVID uh, protocol of WKF is very strict, but to safeguard the, 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 the athletes and uh, all the entourage, and also to reach uh, Tokyo in from today 50, 50 days to Tokyo in the best condition for everybody. We are not running any risk for the athletes and uh, I know that with the audience everything could be much different. But this is not the case. We are in particular situation and uh, we are seeing actually in this moment Tokyo that before uh, some weeks ago, we, we, know, we, we know that there, there was some, uh, some doubts about Tokyo Olympic Games, but now are confirmed. We are 50 days and uh, we will uh, meet all the best athletes of Karate World in Tokyo after 50 year, 51 years of the, of the World Karate Federation. see here this is Nico Ashidach. The stances vary. Zenkutsudach, just the forward stance. Zen, uh, Kekotsudach, Shikodach, just the straddle stance. The, the language for karate is Japanese. Sanchin Dutch as we see here now. And the judges are looking very carefully to make sure that the embosan, the pattern that the kata makes on the tatami is correct according to the kihon, the ruha of the school. And one of the great things about the qualification tournament, actually, isn't it, uh, is the fact, Tavade, that many of these athletes have not majored in a, in a, in a world event before, and they've come through the rounds. And this is the time that they're starting to peak to make a claim for the Olympics, which is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Yes. The Olympic Games has to represent the, uh, the best athletes in the world, but also they have to represent all the continents and the best athletes from every continent. And uh, so th with this qualification tournament, where the top four athletes coming from the Olympic standing as not to be registered, we give the possibility to other people to be present in uh, Tokyo Olympic Games. Tokyo Olympic Games is not only a competition, it's a representation of the karate in the world. So this, that's why I'm really very satisfied when I see new countries join Tokyo. And is it time for Taipei and Wang, Ti, Wang Yita to join those illustrious karateka already qualified. Now the judges will be looking to put the scores in and you'll hear a beep in a moment. And that signifies the fact that the scores are being put in. Sorry, there's sounds as though there's a bit of interference on the uh, machine, but the scores have now been put in. Seems to be a problem with the headset and it makes 
And there we have the technical score, 17.36 against 17.5, 7.62 on the athletic performance, 7.5 against, and the winner in the first round for 25 points against 24.98 is Fang Yita of Taipei. So what a great start for him. Yes. Now, the table that you saw when the athletes...